Hi everyone, welcome. This is Gil. Lately, I have met a lot of students who gave me positive feedback about my vlogs, and I'm extremely thankful for that. If you have any ideas or topics you'd like to know about, please let me know. Today, I'm going to introduce art activities that can be enjoyed in Yunbaek and in Langin. I used to think that I had to go to big cities such as Berlin, Munich, Hamburg for good art activities. But when I look into it myself, I realized that we have plenty of um, good quality of performances and exhibition in our areas as well. So today, I'll be sharing three art experiences that I enjoyed. Let's go! First, I visited the Neues Museum in Nuremberg. It's a vibrant 21st century cultural institution that serves as a dynamic platform for inspiration, education, and discourse. Student ticket is 6 euro. The museum showcases a diverse range of art and design from the 1950s to the present day. Currently, they are hosting two remarkable exhibitions. The first one is Double Up exhibition. It merges art and design, creating a symbiotic relationship, object, sculptures, photograph, paintings, furniture, and textiles enter into meaningful dialogues, shaping fresh perspectives. The second is Material Plus exhibition. The Material Plus exhibition explores the significance of new materials in contemporary design. With an emphasis on sustainability, they drop the question of what materials need to now and in the future, as well as how to responsibly produce and utilize them. I highly recommend this art museum. I had the opportunity to attend Song Jin Jo's piano concert in Nuremberg. Because getting his performance ticket is quite challenging in Korea, it was especially valuable. The concert took place at the Meister Singer Halle in Nuremberg, a venue that surpassed my expectation. I bought the program book and learned about the composer Vitor Lutosovsky for the first time. The music performed by Song Jin Jo was nothing short of magnificent, leaving a lasting impression on me. Attending Song Jin Jo's piano concert in Yunbaek was a remarkable experience. The evening was truly unforgettable. Additionally, I'd like to mention that some concerts offer discounted tickets for students and I highly recommend taking advantage of this opportunity to enjoy a masterpiece. The International Figurine Theatre Festival took place for the 23rd time this year in May. It's held every two years. Audiences are able to experience the entire spectrum of the performing art in over 180 performances by more than 70 companies from 27 countries. From contemporary puppet theatre to mixed media and lecture performances. Hello, my name is uh, Michael Jordan. I'm a gallerist and also an artist um, of this place. And uh, we show Francesca Hunger, Unsere Puppenstube. It's an exhibition about uh, Dollhouse of. Yeah, the exhibition is shown um, in uh, the uh, context of the Figuren Theater Festival, uh, which is uh, in Erlangen. Mm -hmm. This festival has focus primarily on Europe. In consideration of the current debates on post-colonialism and decolonization in art and culture, Thanks to this festival, Erlangen had a very artistic atmosphere for 10 days. So stay tuned for the next festival. Thank you for watching today's vlog. Bye!